Hello everyone! In this short video I'm going to show you how you can model UML diagrams using our enterprise architect integration and how you can actually validate your diagram packages in combination with our CoBeamer application lifecycle management tool. This is a video walkthrough. So first we need to set up the CoBeamer connection where you can specify the main properties for a connection to our CoBeamer application lifecycle management. The next step is that you need to manage the synchronization configuration where you can specify your project and also the target tracker where you actually want to synchronize to. The next thing is in the video walkthrough is how we can actually import requirements or use cases from Copimer into Enterprise Architect, how we can mod model the validation or create the validation for our created models in order to check the UM, if the UML models has, um, been, has been acting against known UML rules or not. The last thing in this video walkthrough is how we can export our drawn diagrams back to CodeBeamer from Enterprise Architect. So basically you can choose or if the diagrams um, should be exported back to each of your work item types or you can also attach um, your diagrams back into our internal or one of our internal wiki pages as well. So going to our enterprise architect integration to the extension you will see that we implemented a plugin which is called EA Connector for CoBeamer. The first step is as I mentioned before you need to specify the CoBeamer URL and also put in two other parameters which is the username and the password. You can also test your connection if you actually have has a successful connection here as well. The second step is that you need to also create a synchronization configuration. So here you can manage multiple synchronizations as well. So for example, we, need, we have uh, two synchronization out of here for our tablet project, one for a system requirement specification and another one for a use case. And once you define the synchronization synchron configuration, you can specify or put in the configuration name. And then you can also choose the pro target project where you want to synchronize to and also the CoBeamer work item type where you also want to synchronize to. And then here in this work item mapping, you can also specify if the CoBeamer um, intern work item types should be mapped in the enterprise architect work as the enterprise architect work item types as well. So for example, requirements. And then you can decide whether the diagram should be attached as an attachment or not. So this is the synchronization configuration for uh, my system requirement specification. And down here, you see that I have another one um, synchronized with my use, taste, use case work item. All right, let's import requirements into CodeBeamer. Therefore, I'm going to Enterprise Connector for CodeBeamer and click on Import. So just to show you um, to which project we're actually synchronized. So this is the project and I want to import the touch interface and the touch screen hardware as requirement into uh, Enterprise Architect. And therefore, I can select um, the import route down here. And also, I need to, to choose the right configuration synchronization. So I'm choosing the tablet synchronization configuration and click on refresh the tree. And in the background, Enterprise Architect will then import all possible requirements from CodeBeamer into um, Enterprise Architect. So you see, for example, if I expand the new in CoBeamer, we will see all requirements which are uh, managed new, uh, which are new in CoBeamer. So for example, let's import the touch interface requirement. You will see basically I'm importing the touch interface. And after importing, um, the requirement will also appear in the project browser on the right hand side, as you can see here. So you also see that the touchscreen hardware has been imported as requirements internal type uh, in Enterprise Architect. So let me show you the next step. Um, so basically you can start a model 
your touch interface and then you can basically use uh, enterprise architect capabilities. So for example, you can start drawing UML diagrams like class diagrams, activity diagrams. So let me just add a new object diagram. Out of here, you can basically start to validate your model or your current package. And you see, as of now, we have one warning. So we need to have a use case validating this requirement. So this is the reason why I'm jumping back um, to Copymer, as we also have use case tracker here. And we also defined a use case validating our touch interface here. So right now I will go back into Enterprise Architect and I will also um, import I will also import the uh, use case from Copymer into uh, uh, Enterprise Architect as well. So I'm gonna refresh the tree and I will execute the import for my touch interface use case as well. And you see now we have this touch interface use case validating the requirement. And in order to validate the requirement, I'm just drawing the object diagram. So I'm just dragging the touchscreen hardware requirements into my model and also the validating use case for my requirement. And now I need to draw a link or realization type. Save this up and now I can validate the package again. Now I need to go to package, model validation, validate the current package and you see the error is gone. So this is the way how you can actually validate your uh, diagram package. So as of now, we are um, just drawing this, this model. So we can basically uh, export this diagram back to Copymer. Let me show you how it's done. Therefore, we go into Enterprise Architect Connector for Copymer and click on Export. And afterwards, we can also define the export route once again. And of course you need to, to select the right configuration synchronization again. So for example, if I want to actually export my touch interface diagram into the right, um, into the right route, I can select it right away. And now I'm choosing the right configuration and click on refresh tree. And now you see here in the tab modified an enterprise architect. Enterprise architect synchronization knows that I actually modified uh, something in enterprise architect or to be more precise, the touch interface. So I can choose this one and now execute the import, uh, the export, sorry. Going back to our system requirements to the touch screen interface. I can refresh the tree and you see this is the export diagram. Another thing is that um, the integration to Enterprise Architect is bidirectional. So that means that you can also um, use our preview out of Enterprise Architect and you can also make changes directly in Enterprise Architect. So for example, you can change your requirement directly in here. So for example, if you change the relevance or a type and click on save. I will refresh the tree in Copymer and you will see basically it has changed here as well. So this was our integration um, to Enterprise Architect and how you can model and also validate your diagram models in, in Enterprise Architect too. Thank you so much for your attention.